What do you do, Gem Squad? We back in the bedroom, bro. Got another reaction video on deck, man. Today we got something different, yo. We gonna love, don't judge, man. We gonna. Uh, I was married. I was a married posture until I fell in love with the man. Love, don't judge. We gonna check it out, yo. But make sure y'all subscribe, cause I don't do this for anybody, man. Do for you, you feel me? Uh, I just felt like checking this out, cause it's something different than we usually react to, and I like the title. It caught my eye, so let's check it out, yo. This is 27 year old. Hey, 27. Man. Okay. 48 year old. There's at least a 20 year difference, yo. Damn, they already kissing me seven seconds in the video, bro. When they met, Damn. neither man had come out as gay. And when they did, it wasn't met with open arms. Uh -oh. Our hometown is mostly conservative. It's not too. Uh, that's tough. Is it? When I came out. Out in the deep south, man. Oh, I was a pastor of a local church. I was That's dismissed crazy. from my post. It came out of nowhere. I didn't know my dad was gay. Yo. Hey, you single, bro? <laughs> Yo. Shocked. Growing up in the South, you just hear it everywhere. But it was, it's not okay. You're not. Bro, wrong. they low key look like. How do this couple navigate they the could be world of being Christian and gay related in, in some America's sort of way. Bible Belt? Oh my gosh, in the Bible Belt? That's crazy. That's tough. When we first got together, I Ooh, was Georgia. out in public. I think mainly because yeah. we've been for so many Man, years. Man, I swear, bro. Y'all be lame, bro. If you see, like, two guys or two girls, like, holding hands and you look at them weird. Come on, bro. Like, what is we doing, bro? What what year is this, bro? Come on, man. You're a whole new oh, yeah. person. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Walking around, you're still set in that old way. But once you realize, like, I didn't flinch. Hey, I, be myself and I didn't make a weird room. face. I'm Eric. I'm 48 years old. But it do be weird when, like, you, it's not, it's like, it's like, uh, your genetics or your, like, your psychology, your brain feels weird when you see, like, two beards pressing up on each other. I can't even lie, but I don't even care, yo. I'm so desensitized nowadays. I don't even care. I'm Matt. I'm about to be 28. But I, I, I know a decent amount of people would flinch marriage. when they, if they We've see that. We've been a couple since 2000. Would girls flinch when they see that? I don't know. I wouldn't flinch for I saw two girls kissing. I had oh. run an ad for needing an employee to add to our demolition team. Oh. And demolition. Matt answered that ad. Me and my friends we were at my house, and this was when uh, Matt she was pretty. a worker for my dad. And I remember one of my bro, friends. Bro, what if like, she was into him, bro? <laughs> if he was into her dad, that would be crazy. Oh, that's cute. That would be crazy if there was some sort of love triangle. <laughs> Is he your dad's worker? And I was like, yeah. And at the time, he was like probably 24. But I was like, he's shy. But he's good looking and everything like that. Matt and Yo. Eric. Bro, what if he just pretending to, bro. <laughs> What if he pretended to be gay just to get with her, bro? That would be crazy. Came close, eventually falling in love. But neither man had nice. come out as gay. And Eric was a married pastor with four children. I oh. actually got into the ministry at a very young age. Who? Uh-uh, bro. And that what? helped me a lot. Oh, he, um, as far as he gained some weight. I see, I see. Putting that inner self aside, even though it was there and it would come up occasionally and bro that's crazy if one day like your mom said and the next day it's replaced with a guy that's crazy within myself you know and then i would just um defeat it with things that i was taught over the years you know homosexuality being wrong and just set it aside but it would never go away wait what and then i would just um defeat it with hold up he was inner self aside even though it was there and it would come up occasionally and he was always conflicted that's crazy yo. helped me a lot um as far as putting hold up pastor with four children i actually got into the ministry at a very young age and that helped me a lot um as far as putting that inner self aside even though it was there and it would come up occasionally and within myself you know and then i would just um defeat my mind is it things that i was taught over the years you know homosexuality being wrong and just set it aside but it would never go away damn he always i was... kept my sexuality a secret for so long mainly because of i guess the fear of other people like what they would think or That's what they tough, would say yeah. growing up in the south and stuff you come just on, hear south? it everywhere everywhere that it was it's not okay you're not normal it, i mean yeah you could to... preach and be like yeah we don't uh accept gays in our religion but just i don't keep know it there's up. there's a line you it's... can't 
shouldn't disrespect someone over there. Just sexuality. not acceptable in most communities. And especially All right, bro, this is the third the time, bro. We get it, bro. Oh here in the gosh. South, it was difficult. When I that came little, out, little. I was associate pastor of a local church, so immediately I was dismissed Animal. from my post. There never was any counsel or even asked directly. It was just, we can't have this. And I was dismissed. Damn. Some people have really stated that they don't agree with it. There are a few people that we just don't talk to anymore. Even you had a family member that says, somebody will kill y'all. You know, if y'all get seen in public, they'll kill you. No! And Stop if they the cap. A couple, um, somebody can kill you and those kind of things. And that kind of registered at first, oh. but then after a while, that that went away out and about around I was about to here, say so. that's hella messed up bro. Yeah, it's more so like they think we're just like a dad and son or something or <laughs> so that's what I thought bro. Upset at first. hey QT in the building when I was a senior in high school so I was 16 17 years old I don't think I was really angry at my dad I think I was more confused that came out of nowhere I didn't know my dad was gay I was Shocked to say the least. Oh, yeah. I told my kids that they could say anything to me they want to say, and I made my apologies to all of them for, for what? not being truthful up front earlier on. But I also let them know that I had no regrets either because had I accepted early on, then they wouldn't exist, you know, and, and I wouldn't change that for the world. Yeah, to have a relationship. With I just my, thought about that, bro. So wait, was his whole life like? When I wonder when he knew he was. Did he have a feeling he was gay before he got into the marriage? Cause that's crazy, bro. If he had children now and it being a good relationship is major relief, far better than I suspected, and a lot faster as far as the recovery of the relationships. Nice. And here's my oldest daughter, Sissy. She will turn 30 her next birthday, and hey. she lives with us full time. And she is our shadow. That's dope. We're thankful to have her. She's a blessing. We live in a community that is very royal. There's a church, uh, a traditional church on most every corner. It's mostly conservative, and for the most part, it's not uh, too accepting, is it? I'll if say we're in public, I'll we stand. don't show any PDA or anything like that. We don't want Bro. to offend anybody. But we uh, also have a golden rule, no too, that we're, we won't deny who we are. Uh, we are who yeah. we are. He will don't always let be my dad. So Overall, I'm not really a PDA guy, but wish any different because he's happy he's the happiest That's i've it. ever seen him and That's i just love them both us in a relationship shouldn't bother you in a relationship we That's don't what affect I'm your relationship that. at all if it bothers you to the point you need to probably look at yourself in the mirror That's coming it. out and we didn't even realize at that time that there were so many advocates out there so to speak we probably thought we were the only two gay christians just out of curiosity, we had Googled gay-friendly churches. Gay-friendly And churches. this particular church that we attend now um, was actually the first one to come up. It Lady. feels awesome to be accepted and to be able to walk in the church and Wait, we could be seen as a family. And yes, as, sir. as a couple. Nobody's hiding. Nobody's bottling something in or keeping a secret or anything. As a matter of fact, after coming out, I believe that my relationship with God is much stronger. Hey. Because um, he already knew, but now uh, I'm more honest with myself. I see, I see. That was, uh, I'm sorry if I got bored, at, uh, if I sounded boring at the end. I was trying to pay attention more because I'd be talking too much. That was really me. I hope y'all enjoyed me. Should like, comment, subscribe on the road to one minute. Minute, minute, I comment to me. We can lose comments real quick, yeah? Oh my gosh. Dang, bro. Nah, he must have just hit it, bro. <laughs> Went on to find herself. Uh... For real, they didn't even mention really her the wife.
That was... Oh my gosh. Dang, he was living a lie. Because of religion, bro. Because he was taught from a young age that it was wrong. I think. So confused, yo. That was a video, man. I hope y'all enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe on the road to a million, million, man. All right, comments, man. We are, man. Peace, yes, sir.